voice of a generation. What's the voice saying? What's the voice saying, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, and that the song... What do you think it's saying? Well, I have no idea, Pat. First day I've met you. Uh, have you listened to the album? I've never heard the album. The, the song you've just played is New Age, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's all this sort of... It, what is it? A facade that you're trying to... You've got something for the kids, some sort of answer. Is it that just a facade in that you, you, you make no. your money out of it? Or have you got an answer? No. No, we haven't got an answer, but nobody else has who pretends like we have. So why Voice of a Generation? I mean, it sounds great, but what's behind it? What's the, what's the it generation It is Voice of a Generation, isn't it? Like, in all the papers, you have me, that's just a middle-class paper, that ain't the Voice of a Generation. It's the voice of a few art students pissing about. That's not really the Voice of a Generation. So the voice is saying nothing? Yeah, OK, fair enough. What about the fact, are you happy about the fact that you prospect every night or when you're playing? is that you, you're playing to a lot of uh, bobbing spiky heads, the same old crowd, the same thing. I have mean, you know I'm playing to them? Have you, you, have you been to a blitz kid? You told me, I'm going to one. Well, I've just told you, have you? You certainly have, pal. Well, so, so is it, I mean, you're playing to a punk audience, right? Yeah. You're playing to rafters. What's the punk audience? No, what's punk? The music's the same as it was in 1977. All the uh, all the arguments that are made against heavy metal could be attributed to this, right or wrong. It's stuck in a rut, right? Well, it could be attributed to the pale fountains and the cabaret of Voltaire. Stuck in a rut because we're making a living out of it. That's not in a rut, is it? Well, you must be. I mean, musically, it's the same old thing. <laughs> Well, 
when the audience has been to a, a blitz gig, right, and they're all fueled up, what, what's their head full of? Nothing? Or has it got some new thought in it? Well, it's got a ship right, full of nothing and beer. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you think that's, that is the essence of life, I think right? that's no. it. I think that's depressing. Yeah. And that's what we want to change. So, 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 and the band should be given the chance to develop, right? So, yeah. the voice of a generation. So, how long has it been going? Right, it was the voice of a generation. Yeah. That's a statement that was released earlier this year. I want to go on from there. I need the chance to go on from there. Let's invent corruption and wait you outside. Tell me what? Tell me this is bad. But if you go, if you go up your own arse and go all arse party like the people that are getting into the African and the Asian rhythms, right? And saying it's new and it's not new, it's crap. Well, that's your opinion, isn't it? I'm not saying what you're doing is bad. Yeah, but I'm just saying try, that, are you happy to be stuck in a room? Like, say you're not stuck in a room. We're not stuck in a room, no. We're changing. This so is... what, what are you going to be doing next year? You were doing this last year. We weren't so doing this, last this year. You say this sound is different now. This is different from... Uh, you're not difficult talking to you about it because you haven't listened to the album. It's so difficult for me about. because that would have stuck in 1977 bang on. You could have been there at the vortex. What's wrong with that? Well, look, look, at some of the look at some of the attitudes that you get in modern music today, though. You're not saying anything. You're trying to say that our album is invalid, right? But it is a voice of generation. You just look what it's about. It's about fair nuclear war, right? All that. About being unemployed. Right, it might not be trendy to go on about it anymore, which it isn't, right? Yeah. By all these, all these newspapers, right? They're not giving that angle at all. They're all just decadent, sort of like Berlin before the war. And look what happened to that. Yeah, but all this is, I mean, it's... Well, have you got any alternatives? Well, I've got one alternative, yeah. For the start off, by being what I consider and many other people stuck in a row. As much as the music's all right, mm -hmm. you're stuck in a row. It's like an ostrich with his head in the sand. I mean, the, are, are you... you so, so what, what you're saying, saying, all this is, is entertainment. You're not no. providing any answers. No, what we're saying there is, is, there's no answers to be found. Right? It's not my answer to provide answers, isn't it? Pardon? It's out of my hands, if I had So who's is it? Politicians? Yeah, they're not any answers. They're the questions. Yeah, they exactly, they haven't. Isn't it? It's the question. Yeah, but you're not, you're not making it up and even tell what you're saying. So, I mean, that's an old thing that when everybody used to say that to Joe Strummer, he'd say, well, it don't matter. But it does matter now. We want to know what you're saying. Well, now it doesn't matter. Now, it's, tell me, now tell me. it's really hip to be fashionably decadent. I'm bothered about the music from the point of view. If there's anything of any meaning behind it, you say it's not. One minute you're saying to me... No, one minute you're saying to me that it's entertainment. Then the well, next minute you say there's something behind it, and no, uh, apparently you can't say what. It's like, it's the trouble with, with all this yeah. is that what comes across is one, one facet, right? Like a diamond. Just what, you just get one plane. But there's loads of different planes. Okay. Right? Is, that, is that fair enough? It's fair. So, I, if so things what I'm go saying is we, don't, we only get the chance to come across with the single playing one thing. But that's part of a great big thing, which is what the Blitz is about. And if you start going pissing about with all this superficial decadent crap, which is hit at the moment, trendies. then you put yeah, you put like really shitty play in it. Well, you're just bring, you're bringing that in, or, or I'm not bringing. And that. then you put a message on the top, and the only people that are going to listen to you are the people that already agree with you anyway. <laughs> here within the, the whole category of what we're talking about street socialist punk anti-political herberts um, which is a great one a skunk rock or a new punk Nazi skinned redskins uh, now and the blitz have been described as the nabobs of yob rock which is a wonderful <laughs> phrase um, could one of you please describe no, no that's his idea is that we don't know what it means this is one of Mr. Bush's other uh, phrases right yeah. uh, yob rock but I don't know what nabobs so. okay <laughs> nabob I believe I mean what, what category are you guys in uh, just a punk band, really. Okay. So, I mean, how do you regard the new wave of punk? Do you regard yourself as part of this? Yeah, yeah. of course I do, yeah. So, and and how, does that, how does that align with, with the old wave of 77? How are you different? Uh, a lot were working class, they were all middle class. That was all sort of big fashion thing then. Right. The fashion element's sort of gone out of it now, and it's more to do with music. It's more what it's should have been. Okay, I mean, out of that 77 wave, you had the blonde, Blondie and the Stranglers, maybe, <laughs> who later went on to become, let's face it, top of the popsters. I yeah, mean, what's yeah. to prevent Blitz not doing that? What's going to stop you? We you will do. stop it? Yeah, no. You we want to do it? top of the pops. Yeah, of course we do. You would? Nothing against doing it. That's not against your morals That's or your, your principles or whatever. All them bands in 77, they said they didn't want to be rich. Right. And the next minute, they were going around in limousines. Right? Sure. Well, anybody who says they don't want to be rich is either a liar or a bleeding idiot. Gotcha. Okay. Right. 
Right. I, okay. I don't want to be soggy, Rich. I want real gold stuff at Fox. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Right, gents, thanks very much. I'm sure this could go on for hours. Um, <laughs> Perhaps not. Many thanks indeed. <laughs> and over to you, Nicky.